Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Well, we are back talking about footprints. We're actually ending on footprints and talk about a couple other different things. That's pretty cool. But so, Don, some say the footprints are not legitimate. Mm -hmm. Well, Don, there's four four reasons. Let's do this. You read two, and I'll read two. Okay. Um, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The Bible says all life formed in six days. Human and chicken footprints have never been found in the same. What is that? Strata. Strata. <laughs> Scores of people have have seen them and think that they are legitimate. Fourthly, the evidence again, the evidence is all out there. The evidence that some dinosaurs are still alive, so the footprints are irrelevant. Okay. Pretty basic. So what about this, Donald? Seashells surround, uh, surrounding the hammer have been dated 4,000 million years old. A hammer, Don? Mm -hmm. you, you've used a hammer before. Mm -hmm. My fingers are well aware of it. Yes, so are, so are mine. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're fully aware that I wasn't very good with it. Yep. I hit the wrong nail. <laughs> <laughs> so the conclusion that they knew about brass, Genesis mm -hmm. 4. Sure did. And Zilla, and she also bore a tubal cane mm -hmm. and instructor of every... All right. Uh, yeah. In, in brass and iron. Mm -hmm. So they knew about all that stuff. And that's in Genesis. That is in, yep, that is in Genesis. Um, here is a, a little bale that was found in a lump of coal. Textbooks say that coal formed 250 million years ago in the Carboniferous period. Okay. After the dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that, Don? I think it's a bunch of bull. Is it science it's, or it, science fiction? It's science fiction. Yes, sir. So, Spock had pointy ears too. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> On June 11th, 1891, the Morrisonville Times reported. A curious find that brought uh, brought to light a Miss S. W. Culp uh, last Tuesday morning as she was breaking a lump of coal apart and uh, embedded in a, a circular shape, a small gold chain about ten inches in length. That's you know. 250 million year old coal? I don't think so. Here's a little, little cast iron pot found in a, lump, uh, in a lump of coal. Uh, a four and a half inch high zinc, uh, uh, zinc and silver vessel found in solid rock that is supposedly hundred million years old. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and this is an Napa image that he's holding uh, in Idaho. Photo taken in 2000. A clay doll was found that was supposed, supposedly 12 million years old. That's an old doll. Yeah. I, I I would say if it were twelve million years old, it wouldn't be. Uh, no. There wouldn't be anything in it. So they knew about steel tools. They um, they 
they used them all the time. That you know the Rome, um, what are they the uh, Egyptians, you know they they use them. You know back four or five thousand years years ago, they knew about coal. Workers found human bones and uh, and a well temp, uh, tempered uh, copper arrowhead in a vein of silver at the Rocky Point Mine in Gilman, uh, Colorado in 18, 1865. Things found in coal. In 1880, J.D. Whitley, the state geologist of California, uh, published a lengthy review of advanced stone tools in California gold mines. Interesting. The implements, including uh, spear points, uh, mortars, and uh, pestles. Very interesting. We found, uh, uh, they were found deep in, in mine shafts underneath thick layers of lava ranging to ni 9 to 55 million years old. 9 to 55 million years of them. What do you think about that, Don? That's... I don't think they were quite that old. I don't, I don't think so either. At least 4,400 years old. Yeah. That's probably. estimated time for the flood. That's a closer guess. Yep. So, uh, Far Out Adventures, uh, the best of the world explorer. Don, would you like to be a world explorer? No. Well, I mean, for Christ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I am. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Go ahead, Donald. In the 1950s, Thomas E. Lee of the National Museum of Canada found advanced stone tools in glacial deposits at Shiganada on Montaloon Island in Lake Huron. The deposits were 65,000 to 125,000 years old. The director of the museum was fired for refusing to fire the discovery. Tons of artifacts disapproved disappeared in the storage bins at the NMC. The discovery had to be killed. It would have forced the writing of almost every book in the business. Forced the rewriting of almost every book in the business. Mm. That's terrible. That is terrible. It, it is. It's, uh, it's terrible when you get caught in a lie. Oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't caught in many of them. <laughs> Hard to cover up. <laughs> yeah. He get rid of it. Oh man. That's why they made shredders. Yeah. <laughs> Shred the evidence. So this coin like object, um from a well boring near um near Long Ridge, Illinois, was reportedly found at the depth of one hundred and forty feet below the surface. That would, you know, be proof of being buried by a flood. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of other things that were buried, but that's, we'll talk about that in, at the rate we're going in about 15 more years. <laughs> so God has given them a perfect world, a perfect diet in, in the beginning. Genesis 1 29, this is where I want to get to. Mm -hmm. So bad. Now, we're finally here. We'll, we'll spend a little, little, a little time on this. And God said, Behold, I have given you every green herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth. To you it shall be for meat. We don't do that. We eat the hamburger. Carbs. We eat tons of carbs. Yep, the hamburger, french fry, mm -hmm. and the milkshake. And starchy the diet. carbs. I love starchy carbs. Yeah, and the <laughs> Coke. Mm hmm. Dr. Pepper, basically. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and here's a book on results of health and beauty by, um, by following the Eden diet. Mm -hmm. Seeds. Mm -hmm. What did it say? Eat Seed. the fruits, the vegetables, and the seeds. Mm -hmm. But be sure to get organically grown fruit and eat the seeds because that's, um, you don't have the preservatives or steroids. Apricot, apricot seeds taste bitter and may give you a pucker that will last about an hour. By the way, guess what? I like apricot. So does um, a peach. A peach seed? Mm -hmm. It's. Oh my gosh. Bitter, but it, it's supposedly good for you. Yep. Have you heard of this? Yeah. Yeah? Grind them up in a food processor and drink them. Yeah. <laughs> so here's Don and his wife. <laughs> yep. You know. Oh. <laughs> but people say that um, that eating the seeds is poisonous mm -hmm. without a cyanide. You've heard that too, right? Mm hmm but seeds contain cyanide found in B17. So some argue that uh, cyanide is poison, hydrogen is explosive. Ask the folks in um, Hindenburg. H Hindenburg. Oxygen uh, supports uh, combustion, yet when they are put together, we put out fires, water. Big explosion. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, about cancer. Now, wouldn't that be something? Yes, sir. A lot of people to lose a job. Oh, yeah. Big money. Oh, yeah. But, you see, if you, if you were to eat if we were to eat the seeds and well, nothing but fruits, vegetables, and seeds, it would cure, I, I think, and, and he thinks, everything. The Hunza people uh, lived in, uh, live in northern Pakistan, and um, they eat fruits, vegetables, and, and the seeds, and they don't. They don't hardly have any cancer, or they're um, your age, and they look and like they're in their 40s, you know? Um, let's see, yeah. Patient survival, five years or more. The orange is the starting group, nutritional therapy and conventional therapy so let's get through this um, there is there are people that eat these things that are good for you which you've heard of, of the Daniel diet right mm -hmm. you know eat nothing but that for a week mm -hmm. and it will clear up a lot mm -hmm. of of things. Here's a skeleton uh, of a scurvy victim. 1,000 sailors, like these people, um, died of scurvy in British, um, crap, in the British Navy alone. Um, you know, and that's just, that's just the way it was. But many diseases are cured by a simple vitamin. These are called uh, deficiency diseases. Maybe G Genesis 129 is right after all. Perhaps, maybe. Just a, a little, a little uh, inkling of, of hope there. <laughs> so if you got scurvy, then you know, you, got that, you're, you have vitamin C deficiency. Um, what is Don Beer Berry? Beer Berry, I don't have a clue. 
But wh whatever that is, vitamin B. And I don't know what any of them are. Um, I've heard of rickets. I've well, heard of cancer. Yeah. But vitamin B17 plus C, and this is interesting. Um, and every herb for the service of man and bread, which strengthens the man's heart. Bread? Wow. But unfortunately, there are people that love money, and you know they. It, we know that it is the root. The love of money is the root of all evil. Um, vitamin E and omega three high fatty acids were removed to keep the bread from spoiling. So these all help keep your heart strong that they take out. The this whiter is, the bread. This is great. The whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. The boy, it's good stuff. Do what? It's good stuff. <laughs> it is. Take two pieces of that white bread and throw a couple of slices of bologna between them. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put some mayonnaise on there with it. So here are the two big yeah. <laughs> philosophies of health of health and medicine. Evolution. Mm -hmm. The body is a random collection of chemicals and formed uh, uh, formed by chance over billions of years. Yep, treat treat it with there. treat it with drugs. Let's say Don, you came to my house in your new car that you bought. I did. The oil light comes on. Mm -hmm. Now you can either fix the problem or unplug the light. Mm -hmm. All that is unplugging the light. All it is is unplugging the light. You know. If you have a headache, what do you normally take? I don't know. I don't have headaches. Oh, well, I don't either. But aspirin, right? Aspirin, Tylenol. Tylenol, there. Yeah, that, there you go. Um, Several other drugs out there, and I'm sure they're coming up with one that's new and improved. Yeah. But, I don't know how it's new and improved. But, but if... That's true. <laughs> but if they're not make, uh, selling these products that's hurting their business. First Timothy 6.10. Our body is designed to give us warning signs when we are low in certain vitamins or minerals. For example, a deficiency in vitamin C causes hangnails, muscle aches, bleeding gums, uh, vitamin B causes nerve, uh, nervous disorder and zinc uh, uh, deficiency causes, causes warts. warts. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Notice that. Zinc, where is that? Yeah. Zinc, zinc causes warts. Deficiency in zinc causes warts. So if you take enough zinc. I had a, a wart right there. I thought, I mean, I didn't did know it. I, I didn't know it at the time, but mom gave me 10 or 15 zinc peels for how you're supposed to fight off the coronavirus. I mean, I didn't care about it. I didn't care <laughs> about that. But, but that right there <laughs> with zinc, it's, it's gone. <laughs> That's fascinating. They, they're saying a lot about zinc today. Yeah. It's supposed to be a pretty much a cure all. Oh yeah. Here's a great book on on health and history. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of good good books you can get um, if you're interested about that. Knowledgeofhealth.com. Um, American Voice. Americanvoice.com. Um, and you know, and it's all, and especially this is exciting because, um, you know, 
it's just proving what the Bible, what Genesis is saying, you know. Um, in the Encyclopedia Britannica uh, documents that in 1845, a young doctor named Vienna, uh, doctor in Vienna named Dr. Uh, Ignaz um, was, yeah. yeah, okay, good, was horrified that the <laughs> terrible death rate of women who were dying after giving birth in hospitals, as many as 30% um, of those giving birth died. The doctor noted that doctors could would examine the bodies of these who had died uh, then without washing their hands. Mm. Um, go straight um, to the next wards and examine expectant mothers and this was their normal practice because the presence of microscopic diseases was unknown. So Dr. His name instead of uh, insisted that the doctors wash their hands before examinations and the death rate immediately dropped down 2%. <laughs> That's fascinating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Go, no, go ahead, Don. <laughs> to honor this doctor for his great find, he was fired from three hospitals in a row, then committed to a mental institution where a patient murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> and every soul that eateth that which died, <laughs> or that which was torn with beast, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger, he shall both wash his clothes mm -hmm. and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. Then shall he be clean. Yes, sir. Leviticus seventeen fifteen, three thousand mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. earlier. What do you think about that, Don? I think it's a good point. It is. And I think you need to wash your hands. Yep. Especially nowadays. <laughs> and your clothes. Yeah. Um, and on, on the creation side, the body was designed by an all-wise creator. He designed food to supply, uh, uh, food supply to provide our needs. Nutrition therapy. Ooh, that's different than drug, drug therapy. Um, wait, no, we, did we miss anything? The body is a random collection of chemicals. Yes, sir. Born by chance over billions of years. Yes, Diseases sir. should be treated with drugs. Yep. Drug therapy and nutrition therapy. Nutrition goes a long way. Yes, sir. So the average uh, deaths of herbs, zero. Dietary supplements, three. Other drugs, 320. Foodborne Ill illness, 9,000. Correctly prescribed uh, prescription drugs, that's, 90 to 110,000. That's, that's the killer right there. Money. Prescribed drugs. So the two basic philosophies of law and government. Evolution, laws come from man's opinion. That means that the rights are granted by the government. By the government. government should be all power, uh, all powerful provider. Democracy always becomes what is that? Totalitarian. That's right. Uh, Seventy to eighty percent of healthcare costs in America are from self-induced illnesses and accidents like smoking, drinking, driving drunk, driving drunk etc. Um, what do you think about that, Don? Uh, 
I think it has, it's pretty close to right. I think it is too. If you're going to have a universal health care in America, why not um, universal auto, auto care, care, house care, clothing, clothing care. care? We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. A must read. Hush money. <laughs> huh? Hush money. Hush money. Yeah. <laughs> this is a must read for pastors and ministry leaders. Don? Who want to understand the issue of church sovereignty versus being a state church. Yes, sir. So, Don, go ahead and read the creation. Laws come from the Creator, rights are unalienable. Government should be limited to the punishment of evildoers and defense. Yep. The Constitutional Republic. So this can, it cannot be emphasized too strongly that the great nation was founded by Christians. That is true. For the uh, most part, yeah. Not on religions, but on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. George Washington states, it is impossible to rightly govern uh, without God and the Bible. True, true, true. Our uh, Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to govern any others. John Adams. And I think we'll end it there, Donald. Okay. We're right at 30 minutes. Sounds good. Yes, sir. You have anything to say, Don? Mm, that's good. I'm enjoying it. Yes. It's a good study. It, it, it really is. It is. All of it is um, fascinating. Fascinating stuff. And next week, we'll talk about the, every beast of the earth and fowl and all of them, how they're Every one of them was designed to eat vegetation, and they still do. Yeah. But that will be next week. You'll be here next week, right? Yeah. Sounds good. We will see you then.